Hello all and welcome. Uh, I'd like to talk to you today about the transformer repository from Hugging Face. And uh, so let's see now. Uh, let me pull this up here. Huggingface.co. And what these what this company has done is they've taken a lot of natural language processing models and they've put them into a uh, a repository of models and uh, they've made them a bit easier to use and and to compare so uh, how do we get started with this well, we're going to take a look at this first. This is, uh, you probably want to read this also, but uh, I'm going to talk to you about this portion here, which is using the GitHub repository. So here it is. I'm just going to maximize it here. I'm going to go here where it says code, and I'm going to click on the uh, little clipboard here. And then I'll put this back the way it was over here on the left. If you don't want to maximize it, you can just uh, make it a little smaller and then you'll be able to see this uh, code button here. So you probably you'll be using HTTPS for this. Just click on this. And then uh, <clears throat> what we're going to need next is a terminal. So let's pull up the terminal. And uh, I'm going to do a, a conda deactivate because I want to show you the whole procedure for this. And uh, let me go here. I'm in my code directory. The code directory is where I like to be when I uh, clone repositories. So I'm going to do a git clone. And I'm going to paste in that uh, URL that I just copied here. Hugging face transformers .git. And, I, and if I hit enter, it's going to clone that repository. So I'll, I'll do that. And it's telling me here that I can't because it already exists. So I'm just going to CD into it. Which is what you'll have to do. After you clone it, you'll have to CD into it. Now, at this point, I want to start installing things, but I can't because I'm in my base environment here and I need to be in a, in a virtual environment. So I'm going to do a conda create minus minus name. I'm going to create a new one here. I'm going to call it transformers. Python equals 3.6. It's very important to use uh, 3.6 for this, I believe. Let's just take a quick look out here uh let's see where it is let's stick this over here and let's take a quick look over here at the installation instructions Transformers, online demos, blah, 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 quick tour. Installation, here we go. This repository is tested on Python 3.6. So we want to make sure that we use Python uh, 3.6. I'll bring up this terminal again. <laughs> and here we go. I'm going to create that. And I'm going to say uh, yes here, Y for yes. And now it tells you how to activate the environment. And paste this here. Conda activate transformers. And you'll see that uh, your prompt should change in some way to show 
that you're now in the Transformers virtual environment. Uh, I don't know what uh, what shell you're using, uh, what sort of a prompt you've set up, but on, on mine, it's uh, quite clear that now I'm in, uh, in the Transformers virtual environment. And one way you can tell this is you could do a which Python And you'll see now that uh, this points to this uh, long path name here, where there's an ENVS here and then transformers. So you'll see that that's, this is the, the environment that I'm in. All right, so now that I have this, the, let's take a look back at that uh, installation instruction. You will need to install one or both of TensorFlow or PyTorch. So there's a PyTorch installation page. Uh, we don't really need to go there. This is a pretty easy installation. We're going to go to uh, PyTorch.org. And click this little button here that says install. And this gives us a little uh, graphics thing that we can work with. And so I want the stable version. I want, uh, I want it for Linux. I'm on, uh, I'm on Pop OS 20.04. I want it for Conda, for Python. And then it asks me what version of CUDA. So let me bring up my terminal quickly, and I'm going to do an NVIDIA dash SMI, and it tells you right up here, CUDA version is 11.1. It doesn't have 11.1, but it has 11.0, and that seems to work fine. So now we're going to just come down here and copy this command that it has created for us. This little graphic is creating this command down here. We go back into our virtual environment. Make sure that when you pull up your terminal, it's the one that's in this virtual environment. And then let's run this. I'm going to say yes. Good. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a conda install anaconda because I want to make sure that I have all the components necessary for running a Jupyter Notebook. <sighs> Let's go back here to the installation instructions. And here's what we need to do, a pip install transformers. I'm just gonna copy that, go back here says uh, do I want to proceed yes I do it's putting all these packages in so I'll have them available anaconda is a very helpful uh, bunch of packages to install I find that I end up putting it into most of my virtual environments all right so that's done so now we're going to do the final step which is uh, paste this pip install transformers bingo by the way uh, let me bring this one back up here because this also tells us how to test our installation All right, so we want to run these guys here. Let's copy that, go back to our terminal. Hit Control L and clear that. And uh, we can't run it directly. If we try to run it here, it's not going to work because these are Python commands. So that's not going to work for us. But what we can do is type Python and 
So actually, I'm going to run Python 3 here. I don't have Python, Python. Python 2 is not on my system. So even if I just do Python, that's going to be 3.6. So I'm just going to type Python here and hit enter. And this will get the interactive version of Python running. And now I can paste in those uh, commands here and run them. And you see, we get this tensor printed out. That means that we have PyTorch installed. And then we can also uh, uh, do this in that same terminal. We don't have to import Torch again, but it doesn't hurt to. And it says uh, CUDA is available is equal to true. So in order to get out of this, you type exit, but then you need to put the parentheses around there to get out. And that's it. Good. So we're out. And uh, this is... This should all be working now. Now, I've got this Jupyter Lab running. I'm just going to close this because I want you to see the whole process. So at this point, we can type in Jupyter space lab space ampersand and hit enter. And there it goes. It's opening up uh, a Jupyter notebook for us. Very nice. And so I'm gonna put this over here on the right. And then I'm gonna go back into a hugging face. over here, and I'm gonna just make this a little smaller because I want you to see the sidebar here. So this is huggingface.co slash transformers slash quicktour.html. I, I guess that the, uh, this is the home this is just index.html, I guess. I'll make this a little bigger here. Yeah, so huggingface.co slash transformers will get you here. And then once you're here, we can go into the, uh, well, let's take this, uh, Jupyter Lab here. This is not the one we just started, I don't think. Let's do this again. I'm just going to close these up. Close this up. Control C over here, make sure we're not running anything. And then let's start this Jupyter Lab ampersand. And there we go. And I'm going to pull this out from here. Put it over here and then stick it on the right here. I'm doing a, a control uh, super key right arrow to put that there. And then over here, I'm going to do a control super key left arrow to put that there. And here's our uh, huggingface.co slash transformers. <coughs> start page and so we're going to go through the quick tour and you can read through this and then uh we're going to start with this one here just click the copy button and then we're going to do a, a python 3 notebook and then click in here and do a control v for paste and then hold the shift key down and hit enter and that'll run it and then we're going to do the same thing here. You're going to click on copy, control V to paste, and then shift enter to run it. Oh, that's the same thing. What happened? This is what we want right here. Copy that. It says copied, so we should have it. Click here, control V. There we go, that worked that time. Enter, and then shift enter to run it. And there we go, and it says this is giving us a positive score. 
it's 99% sure that the sentence, we are happy to show you the transformer library is a positive sentiment. Now we can do this one down here, copy this, click on it, should say copied. There we go, once it says copied, you can come up here and do a control V and then a shift enter to run it. And so the first sentence there, we are happy to show you, that comes back with a 99% certainty that it's a positive sentiment. We hope you don't hate it comes back with a negative sentiment, but only 0.53%. So it's pretty neutral. It's not really sure if that is negative or positive. All right, so and we can read through all this text here. And then, yeah, this is just more of the same here. This is the auto tokenizer, so we can copy this and paste this. Oops, control V, shift enter. And then what's this going to do down here? Control V, shift enter. All right, this is gonna go out and it's gonna get a model for us. <coughs> the BERT-based multilingual uncased sentiment model. And then we can test it here. Oops. <coughs> Copied. Paste this in here. Shift, enter. Now let's use the token tokenizer here. Let's copy this. I don't know why this skips around like this sometimes. There we go. Shift enter. There we go. Control V. And you'll see that these words here have been transformed into these numbers. And then there's an attention mask. The attention mask is telling how important these words are compared uh, to other words in the sentence. And right now there's really no attention being shown at all. They're all equal. Anyway, just keep going through here, and uh, uh, you read all the text, and you'll understand it. The other thing I want to talk, tell you about is down here, it tells you if, there's, uh, if the cell is running or not. So uh, if it says busy, you just have to wait until it finishes up. So sometimes when you download something or you're running something, something through a model, takes a little time and you'll be sitting there and you'll be thinking this is not working. Look down here and see if it's busy. If it's busy, you just have to wait. That means it's working and uh, you just have to show some patience. Anyway, I hope you find this interesting and that it gets you started working with uh, transformers. Haven't really talked to you about what transformers are, anything like that. All that's going to be in the text that you, you're going to be able to read it and you're going to be able to run the code and uh, start to learn this stuff. Anyway, I thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,